What's up guys and gals, I'm your host of the FPC Virtual Channel, I'm Mike Pugh, and this is the really unique background that I created using the Open Broadcaster Software Studio. Come check it out. So this is another one I did for my YouTube live sessions. So now I have two different backgrounds that are really unique transitions for my live sessions. If y'all folks definitely want to try these, it's really simple. It's not that hard. But what you're going to need is what is known as the Open Broadcasting Software Studio, or also known as OBS. So here we're on the Open Broadcaster Software Studio, and this tool is amazing. And when I say that, I mean everything that I'm doing right now to record this video is being done on OBS. I'm gonna show y'all folks how to utilize it in its full capacity in terms of live streaming on Facebook, live streaming on YouTube, and maybe on other platforms that are compatible with this software. Now what you wanna to do to start up, you definitely wanna get this download. Uh, so you wanna click this green button here, and when you do that, it opens up the availability to get it for Windows 7 Plus, that means anything beyond Windows 7. Uh, OS X 10.9 and above and also Linux so you can go for any of those you also can go for the older version here by clicking this link that says download OBS classic but I won't be doing any tutorials for that so you can go on YouTube to try to find those if you wanted to get it for those um, basically the features here are really really straightforward and useful very useful uh, you have high performance real-time video slash audio capturing and mixing with unlimited scenes you can switch between seamlessly via custom transitions you can basically program your transitions and you can get in, in between video to video through scenes and also making differing screen transition changes playing around with your scenes so if you wanted to do that kind of stuff I teach that I try to help people to understand it and it really does work well. Uh, you can put in filters, filters for video sources such as image masking, color correction, chroma key, coloring or color keying, and more. You can go in and you can really do some awesome stuff and try to be as creative as possible. Um, that's what I like to do. I remove my background. As you can see me in the bottom right corner, I use the chroma key effect on OBS. You can also do it in with other tools like XSplit, and you can do it with many other broadcasting tools and software but this particular one is really awesome in terms of having full functionality and 100 percent free so you never have to pay a dime for it you can choose to donate if you wanted to donate and you can click this donate green button here which would actually help the developers to go further with it so if you wanted to do that i highly recommend for you to donate um, you can join the blog and community chat if you chose to do that as well these are some other um, actual programs that they work with or net slash networks you have twitch hitbox and many other ones like beam so um, here it says intuitive audio mixer so you can mix up and down you can filter out your actual audio using OBS you really don't need a third-party plugin for it in order to filter out your audio so that way you can get in what kind of audio quality you're trying to find. Uh, it has uh, such as a noise gate, noise suppression, and gain. So you can use those tools. If you don't know to, how to use those tools, I'll try to do some tutorials. Uh, drop a comment in the bottom of this video's description area if y'all folks are looking for that kind of audio sound quality OBS tutorial. I'll definitely be throwing it out there even if you don't drop a comment. Um, it says to take full control with VST plugin support. I haven't used that yet, but I could figure that out over time and then I'll try to project it into a tutorial as well. It also says powerful and easy to use configuration options, add new sources, duplicate existing ones and adjust their properties effortlessly. So new sources would be something like a webcam or maybe a web browser plugin location or um, Maybe you want to put in an image or you want to put in some video source media file to go in and play automatically if you wanted it to play like that. Uh, maybe you wanted to merge in lower thirds or different things like that. 
maybe a transition, pretty cool transition from a video clip from Adobe After Effects or wherever you wanted to merge that video clip from. Those are the type of sources that you can add. You can also put a gaming source if you wanted to put a game in there, things like that. Then it says streamlined settings panel for quickly configuring your broadcast and recordings. Switch between different profiles with ease. So you can do that kind of stuff going into the settings and you can adjust to, um, you know, maybe you wanted to adjust the output, you wanted to adjust the, the audio, uh, input output configurations maybe you wanted to adjust the streaming the live streaming where you're gonna live stream to differing advanced settings they have in that I can explain that break that down or you can also look onto YouTube for any of these things and people will definitely be out there to offer up that particular type of content I also have a curated playlist if y'all folks want to check that out and I try to curate which basically means to archive and organize really really unique related videos that will fit into what you're looking for. If you're looking for a specific type of thing, it should be shown and showcased in those playlists. That's what I do on YouTube, and I do it outside of YouTube as well on my website, fbc-virtual.com. So if you folks are looking for certain things in particular, nine times out of 10, you, you'll be able to find it that way as well. Or you can use, like I said, the YouTube search or Google search. Uh, it says light and dark themes available. To fit your environment I was using the dark theme but for my face it really doesn't work too well because it ends up putting like when you put the dark theme it ends up darkening the background of my lighting for some reason and I don't really like that particular theme anymore I used to like it because I like the dark theme per se but it just didn't work out with the lighting so let's go back all right so now we're back on OBS Y'all folks don't see the controls of OBS, obviously, because I'm using it to record. But once you get to see the controls, you can really do some awesome stuff. Like I just increased my size of my head, my face, whatever. And um, let's transition over. You can transition while you're actually recording. So that's pretty awesome. So you can transition to different positions on the screen. And that's the power, that's the benefit of OBS. Um, this particular video was just to give y'all folks more of a teaser into these tutorials that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be launching these tutorials very soon. Um, what it's going to do is going to give you the ability to learn how to create these backgrounds. And if y'all folks like this, feel free to hit the thumbs up. If you like the concept of backgrounds, um, being able to do them for free using OBS. And I also use a really awesome website known as pixabay.com. I'll show y'all folks how to customize these things and come up with really unique creative backgrounds. And maybe you're doing these backgrounds for your live footage that you want to create on Facebook, Facebook Live, or YouTube Live. The more professional you set them up, the more unique and creative you set them up and somewhat simplistic, the, the better I believe that people will actually be able to relate to them. And who can't relate to Facebook when there's over a billion members on there? You know, come on. So think about it. Keep that in mind. Joy, love, and peace to all. Mike Pugh signing off. I'll see you in the next tutorials. Hopefully, like I said, you'll tune in and you'll be willing to check them out. Um, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to hit the thumbs up. Um, and feel free to do what you do out there. Keep going. Keep creating. And have the most fun as possible if you are just a, a YouTube watcher and not a YouTube creator. But I highly recommend for y'all folks to give it a try in terms of creating YouTube videos because there's nothing like it on the planet. It's, it's something very unique and it's fun actually and it's also challenging. That's why I keep going with it. And other than that, I'm out. Peace. Forgot before I leave, y'all guys or gals can click over. Well, it's over here. Over here, if you see the little, you know, rectangle that shows up, you should be able to see it now. You can click over there to go to those particular videos. I'm pre formatting and pre programming these so that way, when I'm done the whole entire series, you'll be able to get to it. So you can also click above, there's a little circle, or it may be below over here somewhere down there.
they're down there I'll put the little circle you, you can subscribe through there and that will get you my latest videos peace out